The cat is out of the bag, the LG V30 has gone official and it is just what rumors and leaks painted it to be. The 6-inch flagship phone by LG is a powerers that does not skip on features, it has got top-tier hardware, sleek design and a few extra tricks in the audio and photo departments to make it stand out. It also does away with the secondary display concept that was one of the hallmark feature of the LG V series. Instead, the V30 comes with a virtual floating bar that serves as a kind of a replacement. The bar is actually a translucent half-circle that reminds us a bit of the Samsung Edge functionality, it sits near the edge of a phone and you tap it to bring up a menu of shortcuts and other time savers. So what are all the notable new features in the LG V30, you might wonder? We round them up right in this video. Let's go! The LG V30 ships with a 6 inches OLED full vision display an edge-to-edge -edge screen with a Quad HD Plus resolution and support for the HDR10 format and wider color gamut. Gorilla Glass 5 is applied to both the front and the back, for added toughness. And the always-on display is updated with new features and functionality. But what about the secondary ticker display, a hallmark feature of the LG V series? Well, it has transformed. The secondary display is not present on the V30, but there's a spiritual successor in the form of a translucent half-circle that sits on whichever edge you place it. It's called a floating bar, and works somewhat similarly to Sasmung's edge functionality. When tapped, it reveals a carousel of shortcuts for contacts, apps, music controls, screenshot or GIF capture, screen markup functions, and more, so it kind of is like a complementary screen. The LG V30 ships with a dual rear camera setup, a regular camera and a super wide-angle one. Both are improved from before, the but the regular one in particular, it features a new, focal of 1.6 lens the widest and brightest aperture ever put in a phone camera lens. This allows capturing more light by the camera and capturing clearer images in low light or at night. It is a big feature that we are eager to test. LG has also improved the super wide-angle camera, which now has a slightly narrower field of view than before. It has cut down distortion to almost none. There is a slight step down in angle width from 135 degrees to 120 helps to produce such pleasing results. The LG V30 comes with point and zoom, which locks focus on a specific part of the screen and allows the user to zoom in on it smoothly. Sign effect which contains 15 different movie genre inspired filters to film with. Sign Log, which facilitates easy editing in programs like Adobe Premiere. And Video Studio, an onboard editing software which allows you to work with multiple photos and videos, as well as add After Effects to your mobile masterpiece. The V30 is a phone that will deliver for lovers of fine quality music. It features a 32-bit hi-fi quad DAC to minimize sound distortion and that's big. There are two new features to the existing quad DAC. Fiercely, a sound preset, various presets tuned by audio experts, but also that can be set by individual users' preferences, so that you can boost individual sound components like the bass. Then, you can further fine-tune the reverberation effects of the music via a new digital filter, short sharp or slow. LG has partnered with Danish company B&O Play to deliver the improved sound capabilities with a pair of earbuds that will ship with the V30 in select markets. Then, the V30 also support MQA, a new standard for high-quality audio formats that can deliver hi-fi sound in a reduced file size. For sound recording, the LG V30 actually enables the use of the earpiece as a microphone. The earpiece is made of durable materials, so this new technique called RAM, receivers as a mic, allows capturing loud sound without too much distortion. LG says that you can capture a super loud 142 decibels in concert stadiums. Additionally, with the V30, for a limited time, you can get an app items worth $100 in the Beat Fever music game for Android. The V30 comes with the Snapdragon 835 system chip on board and with 4GB of RAM. Pretty much every Android flagship phone these days has the Snapdragon 835, so this is not really a surprise, 
but still its flagship grade silicon, and a welcome change from the LG G6 that launched with the Snapdragon 821 in times when others opted for the newer 835. The big advantage of the Snapdragon 835 system chip is that it is built on a new, 10 nanometers manufacturing process, which allows the chip to deliver great performance while consuming less power and allowing for better battery life. Thankfully, the LG V30 ships with a plentiful 64 GB of native, onboard storage and it supports a micro SD card slot to expand on that initial allowance. This is great news for content creators that need that extra flexibility with add-on storage. In addition to the rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, the V30 uses improved facial and voice recognition. Facial recognition seems to work fast in daylight and in regular conditions, but it might be far less reliable outdoors and on the go. Voice recognition is also improved on the V30, so that you can unlock the device with a keyword that you yourself have set not a predefined word like OK, Google. A 3300 mAh battery powering a 6-inch Quad HD Plus display certainly does not sound like a promise for great battery life, and that has been a sore point for LG phones for years. The more efficient Snapdragon chip inside might actually give LG's V30 a battery boost, but don't expect this phone to be a marathon runner in terms of battery life. What LG promises, though, is quick charging, the V30 supports USB Type-C and Quick Charge 3.0, and you can get a 50% charge from zero in just 35 minutes. And it supports fast wireless charging as well, so you can get a 50% top-up using wireless charging in 55 minutes. The LG V30 is one elegant phone, but at the same time, it is also built to last. It features a metal frame with H-beam construction to add tensile strength and to ensure the phone will survive in conditions where other phones will not. The V30 is also water protected with an IP68 rating, meaning that you can submerge it in water up to 5 feet deep for as long as 30 minutes. The LG V30 will be expensive. It is a flagship device that sits atop the current LG G6, so it will be priced accordingly. We don't have exact pricing in the United States just yet, but we know that the phone will launch on September 21st in Korea, and the price there should be around 800,000 Korean won, the equivalent of $700. The release date in the United States and Europe should be somewhere in the beginning of October. Which new features of the LG V30 do you prefer? Let us know your thoughts and comments. To discover more Android and LG related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.